While Saddleback may take longer than anticipated to get up and running, many of Maine ski resorts are now open for business. With your weekend mountain report, we're turning things over to meteorologist Mallory Brook. Welcome to the Mountain Report. I'm meteorologist Mallory Brook, and I look forward to taking you through our winter wonderland over the next few months. Not only an update on downhill skiing, we'll also look at some awesome winter hikes, cross country skiing, along with snowmobiling. It'll be your one stop shop for all snow sports this winter. While we're waiting for the ground to accumulate a little more snow, our downhill ski areas are in full force heading into the holiday week. Conditions it will be a mixture of man-made and packed powder corduroy, and you can probably still find some of those powder stashes if you look hard enough from our early week snowfall. Camden Snowball opened their doors Saturday for the season, and Big Rock, along with Big Squaw, reopened this weekend as well. For the most trails available, head to Sunday River. You'll have the choice of over 50. In the White Mountains, Cannon and Loon take the top two spots for the most trails available for downhill skiing and riding. If you'd rather get on the skate skis or settle into the tracks, Jackson Cross Country has three of their five trail networks groomed and Bethel Village Trails has about a third of their trails open. It'll be in the 30s heading into Sunday, so it'll be a great day to get out and play. In Norway, I'm meteorologist Mallory Brook, News Center, Maine. And tomorrow at 6, we'll take a look at the week ahead and what you can expect to see on the slopes.